March is a historic month with Pluto shifting into Aquarius, Saturn to Pisces, and they together are going to open up a portal, the portal of transitioning from the age of Pisces to the age of technology, interconnectedness, equality, and humanity, also known as the age of Aquarius. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to talk about the signature month of March which begins with shifting into the more and more apparent transition between these two great cycles. I'm going to talk about how this might affect the whole of humanity globally and then on the second part of the video, I'm also going to break it down to all 12 signs. Now, March is undoubtedly the most important month of the year. It is a fresh start, astrologically speaking, because astrology does not follow the Gregorian calendar, right? The new cycles are going to be kicking in in March with these two great planets, and also Mars is going to change sign. And in the top of that, on the 21st of March, we will have the spring equinox, which is always the astronomical and the astrological new year when the sun reaches the zero degree of Aries. But let's start with the smallest planet that is shifting. So Mars is going to uh, leave Gemini for good uh, and it has been there since uh, last year, August, has caused lots of havoc by uh, going retrograde in the sign of Gemini, by um, squaring Neptune three times during this phase. And uh, so probably many of us will be just kind of relieved to have a little bit of break from Mars. So around the mid months, if you have planets around the 25th degree of mutable signs, expect some overreaction, defensiveness, uh, expect some wannabe protecting your rights, speaking up. It could be a time of rupture uh, when you want to stand up uh, for yourself or you might end up um, fighting for your debates in arguments uh, you might end up feeling disoriented somewhat or overwhelmed where things are not going as uh, you plan them out there is a time of possible chaos as well with natural disasters due to water earthquakes and hurricanes neptune square mars is an aspect when we are losing control especially if you're not coming from the right intention. The next big move is going to be Saturn moving into Pisces and with that creating a closure for a 30-year cycle that is natural that is the natural cycle of Saturn's movement around the ecliptic but due to Pluto's ingress into the sign of Aquarius Saturn also cutting ties, a closure for a great era, a cycle that we all know as the age of Pisces. It marks a time of retreat, getting ready, transitioning into a brand new 30 year cycle to come. But Pluto's ingress into the zero degree of uh, Aquarius, it is really the birth the opening of that portal which is still only the transitioning time now we know saturn as chronos the greek god that teaches us limits it teaches us the time it teaches us about material things brings responsibility but the ultimate goal of saturn really is to create a shape a structure a strong foundation where we can manifest. On the positive note, Saturn in Pisces can help with manifesting, with grounding, to master our spiritual goals and mystical experiences, our psychic and intuitive gifts, 
and to put these dreams into a material form to ground them into our very being pluto will be um in the sign of aquarius all the way to 2024 so that's roughly we're talking about 20 years okay but let's see when do i think really the dawn of aquarius has begun i believe this was way back in the previous pluto in uh, aquarius cycle this was the time when the french revolution happened and the first real Aquarian themes, such as fraternity, liberty, equality, and the abolishing of the French monarchy has happened. Now, this has happened in Aquarius because uh, Leo is exactly opposite to Aquarius, and Leo is the sign of the kingship. And when Pluto got to Aquarius, the French rebelled, and they said, no more, no more monarchy. We are the people. We are going to create the democracy, uh, the republic. And we are not going to let ourselves led by kings who don't even know what our real needs are. Just remember Marie Antoinette who said, let the mink eat cake. <clears throat> this was the dawn of Aquarius. And in 2020, something huge has happened again. The Great Conjunction, which is the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, has happened on the zero degree of Aquarius, exactly on the degree where Pluto is going to move on the 23rd of March. Now, this is a uh, very significant not only because it is on the zero degree of Aquarius, which is again the beginning theme, but also because it happened on the winter solstice. And let me also mention that according to uh, many astrologers, uh, the great conjunctions are the best astrological clocks. They are the most reliable yardsticks to measure history. Now, this is also significant, although the Jupiter and uh, Saturn, the great conjunctions, they usually are uh, marking a 20 year period. But this particular one on the zero degrees of Aquarius on the winter solstice, which is the astrological, you know, time shift, really, as I said, it's not the Gregorian calendar that we are going after. This is also a uh, marked a time when it closed uh, the great conjunction have closed a 200 year period when the great conjunction uh, happened in earth signs and they opened up another 200 year period when the great conjunctions are going to happen in air signs so can you see how we are moving from the earth quality the earth is uh, the material aspect of life we are moving into the air quality, which is uh, the social, the information, the communicative, uh, the technological uh, kind of air quality. Yes, Pluto's ingress into the, uh, into the zero degrees of Aquarius, it will mark the point when this portal, the portal of transitioning from one era to the other is actually opening up for us. And you guys, what better transition is from the age of Pisces, moving into the age of Aquarius, closing the cycle with Saturn in Pisces. With Saturn in Pisces, we have to face our karma, not only for the last 30 years, but for the last 2,000 years. Imagine all the psychic junk it will come up. There's going to be a lot to face. There's going to have to be a lot of testing, lots of reflection, and lot and lots of elimination to be done. And these have to be done with regards to religion. That's Pisces. With regards to your leadership government system, structures, capitalism, 
it, we have to have a look at the state of the ocean. That's Pisces, right? The livestock, the fish in it. We have to have a look at the healing, the medical industry, the pharmaceuticals, the drugs and the correct use of it, the alcohol and the correct use of it, the movie and all imaginative industries and the correct use of it, such as adult film industry as well. But the biggest thing we have to have a look at is our beliefs and our faith, because that are the themes of the age of Pisces. Now, in the age of Pisces, our belief system was that we have masses and these masses have to follow leaders and saviors. Now, during the time of the American and the French Revolution, in the previous Pluto in Aquarius, um, people used to follow leaders and kings and rulers who were put there by divine right such as kings and queens and priesthoods. These were allowed to believe that they were better than, uh, than all of us. They were better than all of the humanity. And they had come, their era had to come to an end because they completely are lost in touch. Again, I have to just quote Marie Antoinette when she said, let them eat cake. She had no idea how people used to live. So during this transitional period, many people still believe that they have to follow bosses and rulers and leaders. And this created this top-down hierarchy as a, res as a result. Now, these beliefs are going to be tested and many of them are going to be illuminated. Because from the age of Pisces, we need to have, the humanity need to have a new type of thinking a new type of consciousness. We cannot carry uh, these type of beliefs into our Aquarian age, into that new age. So naturally there will be tests of the beliefs, tests of the faith, tests of leaderships, cracks will be shown up and dissolution of systems will happen. New raw models will come out, unexpected heroes and leaders such as the unexpected king or Nelson Mandela's turnover from a jail sentence to the leader of the country. Uh, it is going to happen on the 23rd of March, which is just about two and a half days away from the spring equinox, which is the rebirth of the earth, the zero degree of Aries, when everything comes to life again. So that's very significant. That is going to happen on the degree of the Great Conjunction, yet again, it's very significant. That the Great Conjunction happened again on the Winter Solstice, that is again a very significant. That both of these planets, Pluto and Saturn, are in such a deeply transpersonal sign, such as Pisces and Aquarius, that is again very significant. Now we all know that Pluto is at the planet of transformation and Pluto likes to try and transform through digging and unearthing deeply buried issues. So the transformation with Pluto always happens through crisis, catharsis and purification. Now have you had any detox done ever in your body? Then you know how this uh, could be a cathartic uh, experience because our body and our mind is full of toxins. So first we have to bring them up in order to be able to eliminate them. Pluto came here to purify this very human sign, the sign of humanity, right? The sign of future goals and wishes. So naturally, Pluto will dig and unearth and exposes some toxicity and will eliminate them, will destroy everything first and then will reconstruct and will rebuild. So naturally Pluto has to do and is going to purify 
every aspect of Aquarius in the next 20 years to come. And uh, don't you agree that we need a huge cleanup, a huge transformation? Look around the world. The world is overpopulated. The money and wealth of the earth are, are controlled by a few thousands, whilst millions are going hungry and dying of hunger. The oceans are dirty, full of plastic. There's literally more plastic in the ocean than fish in a minute. The landfill is filled with toxic materials. People are working, overusing uh, the ore of the earth, and we are running out of it. Everything is controlled by patriarchal, corporate leaders, top-down hierarchical governments, institutions. Our basic human needs are not satisfied by the old systems. Many corporate environments, institutions, we all have to work in. It doesn't allow to live a decent, balanced life. We don't have a healthy work-life balance. We don't have to go to India or to Africa to see that. This is happening in Europe, in the UK, everywhere. I remember when I, uh, I used to work on a customer-based business and I was already dealing with customers for two hours and I asked my supervisor if I could have a glass of water. And guess what he said? He said, no, I cannot. I need to wait till I be taken off by somebody else. Yes, these are happening in Europe now. So our new age will not be either. There will be overemphasis in technology. There will be fights against what's uncontrollable. There will be chips in our brain. There will be uh, lots of Madonnas who don't want to age and they probably will manage not to age either. Um, there will be robots taking over our human jobs. But also this might give rise for people to find better ways of earning, to work for themselves, to live in communities, to work from home, because they will realize that by working for themselves, they can make a better way of living rather than working for greedy factories, institutions, corporate businesses, where the basic human rights for our needs are not met. The new era that Pluto is getting ready for us for is going to begin with a big spring cleanse. It's going to be about less about the material focus. It's going to be more about humanity coming together, being interconnected, creating our new communities. I can see cities and villages already turning out like that. In Hungary, there is a little village that are completely independent from all authorities, energy-wise, food-wise, um, maybe even social services-wise. I can see futuristic um, cities are being created already in Saudi Arabia, um, a city called Line. Um, of course, this is due to uh, the global warming as well. Nevertheless, it's going to be a brand new community. With Saturn moving into Pisces, we have to cut all the ties that we have had because we are closing a Pisces 2000 year chapter. With Pluto in Aquarius, we are opening a brand new 2000 year chapter. The shift from the age of Pisces to the age of Aquarius will be corresponding with shifts in worldly power, with shifts in the old systems, economics, and of course, the belief systems as well. The portal is opening. Are you ready? Dear Taurus, Saturn will enter to your 11th house of long-term goals and wishes and Pluto will enter your 10th house of purpose. 
wow, this will create a huge transformation in your life that is going to be very, very visible in your purpose and in your social circle as well. So wherever Saturn goes, it brings upheaval. So when it enters the 11th house, which is the house of friends, it does exactly the same thing. You might end up breaking up a lifelong friend due to incompatibility, especially in the initial phase of that of period. Now, Saturn wants to eliminate everything that is not authentic. So one thing we all need to understand, although we may feel to, connected to someone, but if Saturn comes around and eliminates that person for one reason or the other, that person will um, exit our life from one way or the other, that is because that person did not serve our sense of um, purpose anymore okay so when so Saturn comes around and trips away all these fake people from your life your old mates that no longer share your sense of purpose your friendship your associations may be tested and in the best case scenario you will change your friends if you had difficulties with your friends it could be a reflection of your deeper unconscious motivation that is driving your behavior. Because the 11th house represents the objective truth. It is ruled by Uranus, and Uranus often seeks rebellion. Now, Saturn will force you to rebel, even if it's your true authentic nature. When Saturn enters your 11th house, he demolishes anything that does not have a very strong, sturdy foundation. Anything that is built on inauthenticity or a lie is going to be destroyed because Saturn wants to leave room only for the things that truly serves your purpose. So this means when Saturn enters your uh, 11th house, he will remove you from groups, from social circles, from family members even, from clubs, from activities, anything that is um, not authentic to you okay it may be authentic to someone else but it's not authentic to you so due to that older friends and friends could be even cruel to you this has to be dependent on your natal Saturn positions and of course other other planets in your 11th house as well uh, so uh, this, this I cannot see that obviously for that you need to um uh, book in for um, personal reading your audience could be somewhat critical because 11th house means your audience as well your followers this could be kind of critical or kind of unforgiving uh, you might act um you might experience some social criticism, some fear from your social circles coming. Your followers could be quite critical towards you. Uh, and you have to be a little bit more cautious what you do because you put the wrong foot down and they will be uh, scrutinizing you. Your friendships will be streamlined to the most important ones. You meet friends through works. Uh, where there is a feeling of obligation, where there's a feeling of heavy duties or social obligations, or you might end up regulating a large group of people. You might end up managing large scale events, such as uh, regulating a society or administering groups, such as on Facebook, for example. Um, <clears throat> on the positive terms, if you have worked really, really hard and you have a good Saturn or this Saturn makes good aspect to one of your natal planets whilst, uh, whilst um, you know, passing through um, Pisces, you could be achieving some very serious future goals and wishes. So if you have a good Saturn, you could be also achieving some uh, rewards and some future goals and wishes that you have been working really, really hard for. Now, Pluto's moving into Aquarius for 2023 for the three months will give you a sneak peek into what may unfold for you for the next 20 years to come in your career and in your purpose, in your, in your public status as well. 
It is one of the biggest changes of the century. I did talk about that in the beginning of the video, how the human consciousness uh, will go, what sort of evolution will they have to go through. And um, it, uh, Pluto will unearth some unrealized uh, potentials, will expose certain hidden things that you were not aware of. Now, what you have to be careful of, that everything in your 10th house is very, very public. So just have a little taste what is going to unfold for you in the next 20, uh, you know, for the next three months, uh, all the way till mid-June. And those issues will slowly unravel for the next 20 years. So this is naturally is going to be a huge transformation of your career and of your purpose. Uh, but each transformation with Pluto may start with a crisis or catharsis. Uh, you, you might happen that you are forced to be totally, this drastically, fatally change your career. You could have some power struggles with your bosses, father figures. Uh, they could be quite, kind of manipulative towards you and overly controlling towards you. There could be some love-hate relationships uh, and challenges with authority figures as well. Um, you need to work out on issues with parental figures, with uh, authority figures as well. Now, your career could transform into something very plutonic, um, which is connected to the resources of the earth, everything that is underground, or everything that is uh, deep uh, deals with deep psychological issues, everything that needs a research, such as being a detective, or everything that's connected to the sex industry, or connected to banks, such as other people's money, like shares, investments, or even secrets and occultism. You can be very successful because Pluto will give you this uh, concentrated willpower, this laser-like focus. Uh, your public either love you or hate you. Uh, you have this extreme energy, magnetizing energy, and your public... Um, you as a public figure you could be kind of controversial figure okay you might end up dealing with taboos uh, in your career or the occult or secret societies death you could be like a bereavement specialist you know anything illegal is also connected to pluto so be careful with that um, a sexologist, a kundalini chakras, crisis management. Um, you can become a very controlling boss or even a ruthless if, uh, you know, Pluto makes negative aspects, which undoubtedly during the 20 years at some point it is going to do. So be very careful with that, but good luck with all this transformation. I thank you so much for watching me all the way till the end of this video. Uh, I would love to hear your plans, how this uh, all is affecting you. And of course, please subscribe to my channel because I'm very close to reach the 1000 subscribers. With all of your help, I hope, thank you very much for letting me read your horoscope. And uh, hopefully I shall see you in my next video. Bye-bye.